Hey guys, and welcome to Wii's Plays Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy. I've heard a lot of good things about the story in this game, and I really like good stories, so I'm hoping for the best. Let's just get into it. I don't know much about this, so I can't explain very much. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Damn. Well, that was gross. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard Destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. Life descended into chaos in a bathroom, taking a piss. Hmm. Oh, taking a poo. What? Fuck. Okay. What? What what have I done? Depressed? I would be freaked out right now, not depressed. 
I... I didn't want... It was like a dream. It was only just a dream. Oh, fuck. Quick. I... I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. This icon appears up right corner of the screen. Your progression is automatically saved to the hard drive. A show. Thanks. Let's get out the window. It's barred up. I can't oh, get out oh. this way. Why is it barred up? Oh no. Um. Yeah, should probably hide. Uh, I forgot I'd do this. Okay, yeah, I remember now. Um. Mm. Can I clean the blood up? Dry myself? Yeah. Um. Empty. Alright. I should go now. I should probably be going. Oh. gotten to pay your bill oh yes of course I excuse me the bill for the meal how could I forget that Oops. Quick, before somebody finds the body uh, bill well soda and okay um. A bit janky, but whatever. I leave. Thank you. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Fuck. All right, run. I live too far away to walk. Oh, I come on! Find another way to get back home. Seriously, dude. Yep. Uh, Brooklyn. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Who's this guy? Who the fuck is that guy? Doc's diner. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. 
If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Hmm. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Well, yeah. Definitely something different. Okay. Let's talk. Okay, let's not talk. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Mm -hmm. Were there other customers in the restaurant at the time? Yeah, two other guys. I let them go home. I wrote down their names and numbers in case you wanted to question them. Is the body still there? The boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Nobody's been in the toilet since we found the body. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I wanna make sure she gets home okay. Someone's appeared at the top right corner of the screen. You can switch characters. Huh. That's pretty neat. Let's talk, babe. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Hmm. Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I, I didn't really pay any attention to him. Have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times, but murder? That's a new one. Damn, 11 He's years. Such a nice guy. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. Mm. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job. The usual stuff. Mm. He never talked to anybody else. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No, I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. <laughs> what happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No, it was just a night like any other. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my Jeez. God. You have to try to be strong, Kate. 
I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful, because that happens a lot here, people forgetting to pay their bill. What happened next? The man came back, he paid his bill and left. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized... Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. Yeah, wait, yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. Mm. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push it. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God, if I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Poor lady. Good night. John seemed like a nice guy, too. <sighs> the fuck am I doing here? Alright. Get out of here. I'm going to the fucking thing. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 that camera angle, though. Hmm. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Mm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? He wasn't killed in the stall. The killer dragged the body in to hide it. Yeah, I did. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. I'll take care of it. Hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. Maybe the killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. <laughs> could be. I'm gonna look at myself one more time. Yeah. Anything in the trash? I didn't put anything in the trash. Just what exactly are you doing, Tyler? I'm checking for clues. What do you think? Probably wash my hands now. This out of order. Um, what else? Ooh. Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives and toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. Great. Tell Garrett, have him check for prints on the handle. Okay. Hmm. Did I grab it? I grabbed it, didn't I? Can I take a piss? I'm gonna take a piss. See what happens. <laughs> Tyler! What? This is a restroom, isn't it? No. This is a crime scene. It's cool. I'm done. <laughs> you know that coffee I've been drinking to try and stay awake. <laughs> I like you, Tyler. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to piss you off, Carla. Um, this thing. Can't do this thing? Okay. What can you do? 
Uh, see if you want to look at the blood. A pool of blood. This is where I killed him. No. Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. They sure do. No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. I wish I could go piss. I think that would be funny. This game's racist. Oh, oh, open. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it, and we'll know for sure. This. You ever consider a career in plumbing, Carla? You ever consider a career in comedy, Tyler? Hey, everybody says I'm a very funny guy. <laughs> All right. How about this one. Hey, in here. Man, stab some dude in the toilet? You gotta be crazy. This guy took a big risk. Anybody could have walked in here and surprised him. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's look at myself. Come on. Look nice. You're very nice, Carla. Just, just saying. Um. I don't think I'm missing anything. Why can't I do this again? Hold on. Maybe it was a revenge thing. Or a psycho. This town is full of psychos. They're right. everywhere. When I was in the Bronx, I saw guys who'd rip your guts out and hand them to you just so they could take your shoes. Tyler, can you shut up for two minutes? <laughs> Alright. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. Also, these controls are a little bit jank. Just saying. They took the cash. There's his book. book. The Tempest by Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. Oh, well, the coffee's not on the bill. Coffee? cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. Hmm. Traces of blood. The killer was at this table. He came back and sat down after the murder. Fuck. Shouldn't have done that. Garrett, there are traces of blood in this booth. Okay, I'll go take a look. Alright. Can't do anything else. Sit down. What's over here? Alright. That was that was fun. Can't go now. I think I'm done. Pretty what's over here? Anybody anybody go at this one? Hey Carla. I'm gonna take a look outside, see if I can find anything. Hmm. Wasn't this. Oh, you walk funny. Just letting you know. Hi. Yo. What do you want? I'm a police detective. I'm investigating a murder that took place in that restaurant. I was wondering if. Ah, leave me alone. I got nothing to say. I don't talk to cops. <laughs> Right, thank you. You've been helpful. Damn. 
Thanks. What about... I went... Did I go? I can't remember which way I ran. I think I ran this way. There be uh, there wouldn't be footprints. It snowed way too much. Ah, you run like a dork. So, can I talk to you? Yo, what if I just got hit by a car, that'd be weird. Nothing suspicious, I guess. Taxi man don't want to talk to me. I think we did good. I think we're. I think we're done here. Yo, 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 talk to me, babe. You ready to go, Tyler? Yeah. I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. Cool. Carla agrees to go. Let's get into the car before she changes her mind. Slow down, man. Roads are crap. Ready and go to work. Well, fuck. 